for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymaddencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And today, I'm going to be going over my Madden 20 wish list. So first things first, <clears throat> I've done one of these videos before, but I'm going to keep updating it as the year goes on as I keep getting more ideas and to elaborate on most of the things that have been coming to my mind. So first thing is first, make sure to comment down below and like the video and make sure to subscribe if you guys could. going to keep the intro short. Go up 50 likes. That's the goal. I'm going to have a lot to talk about, so I want to get right into it. So just... Enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe. So let's get into this. So first things first, when it comes to Ultimate Team, from a standpoint of Ultimate Team, I'm talking about the majority of Madden, but for now it's Ultimate Team. So first thing, as far as the year starts in the beginning of the year, so they need to maybe pace themselves better next year because they kind of, they came out the gates firing, had an awesome first half, and they died down the second half. And that's largely in part to the fact that they dropped so much content that they almost spoiled us, and in the second half they just died off. So yeah, die off wouldn't be as bad as it was in years past because in years past we didn't get as much content. We weren't we weren't we didn't have as much fun in the in the first half of the game per se. So what they could do is first off they have to actually they have to stop dropping the game after Christmas for the next Madden because it's bad enough that after the Super Bowl promo means the Super Bowl in real life is over and that people are already falling off. Like a lot of people play Madden because of the hype of the football season. Once that's no longer there, they need a reason to keep playing this game and people's ambition and motivation to play the game goes off after the Super Bowl. And it doesn't help that EA is also, they, they go full, full fledged into Madden 20 after that. So that's one thing they need to fix. Second, they have to revamp currencies and training. Currencies and training were kind of a boon to the market this season only because of the way they implemented it. They made, the way they did it, I don't know if there's even a fix for this just because of how econ economics works. The way they did this is by implementing currencies and training, they gave every player a value based on a separate entity, such as currency or training right not coins so pretty much let's say baker mayfield 90 overall awesome quarterback right there might be a hundred thousand quarterbacks in this game you might not even baker mayfield might be the best it may not even be close to the best one so you'll never use him but he's 90 overall he quick sells for let's say i forget the numbers but a thousand training so now every car that goes for a thousand training they're all gonna be at the same price so if baker mayfield's ass and he goes a thousand training but he's ass in years past in madden if baker mayfield's ass and he's in a high surplus position his value will go down to like 5k let's say or let's say 10k but there's this roquan smith new middle linebacker best fast one in the game he's a great user and has hit power he's literally the hybrid linebacker and the overall this card's awesome oh i just pulled him out of a pack this card should go for 30k but he only goes for a thousand training so he can't go for more than a card that goes for more training than him obviously there's exceptions to this such as limited time cards and when the cards first come out when a card first comes out obviously the price fluctuates but give it a week and you'll see the true value so all 90s are going to go for around the same price, which kind of sucks from a market standpoint, because in years past, what was always awesome about Madden was this auction block, right? You didn't have to buy packs to get coins as much. So let's, let's disregard coin sponsors and solo challenges and everything they offered us this year. But in reality, you could do this. The auction block used to fluctuate, and that was kind of the excitement of it. I did not find the auction exciting, exciting at all this year for the first time. I used to sit on this auction block more than I actually played the game. Is that a positive? Is that a negative? I don't know. But look right here. 90 overalls, 20k, 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 91s, 23k, 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 back to the 90s, 23k, back to the 91s, 23k, 24k, 25k. So you see, they all sit the same price. So it's like, this is how it works this year. Oh, I pulled the Calvin Johnson. No, no, it's I pulled a 90 overall. I pulled an 88 overall. You know what they go for right away. It kills the excitement of plaques. And now as far as the auction block goes, what was not exciting about the auction block this year was this. So in years past, let's go to 98, 99s. Right now you can see this Rashad Jones or this Devin White, right? You can see a Devin White going for 195K. In years past, the auction was volatile. If you don't know what that means, it means like it quickly moved, it quickly changed, there was no consistency, which was kind of cool. And I did, don't get me wrong, I did enjoy the safety this year. We had a safety blanket this year that you could buy a card and not worry about their value. You could keep them on your team for weeks and not worry about their value. But it also made flipping coins hard. The majority of my coins were from playing the game, earning packs in the game house rules like the majority of my coins are playing the game which was cool but you couldn't become a month millionaire just bought the auction block you used to be able to as easily obviously the mar the market gurus gut fox chewbacca llama all those guys they guys who teach you that stuff yeah you could use that but sniping's more volatile also what i'm trying to get at here is that in years past i could buy this devin white for 185 right now or 195 put him on my team in 20 minutes he could literally be 160k because they didn't have set prices right 
their price is purely based off supply and demand. So let's say everyone had this Devin White, and then later that day, people were just selling a lot of Devin Whites. A lot of people started selling them, his price goes down. Later, a lot of people started buying them, his price goes all the way up. So last year, you could buy Devin White for 180K, and then later that night, he's 230K. You resell him, the next day, he's 180, you buy him again. This year, the fluctuation is based off luck. You literally have to hope that someone puts it up for an undercut that's massive. Like you have to hope right now, sit here for an hour refreshing, and wait for a guy to go up for like 180, 180k, 160k, and just hope that you could buy it and sell it. That's luck. That's not that's not skill. That's not that's not that's not speculation. That's luck. Sniping is luck to an extent. Obviously, you could put yourself in the right place to snipe, but at the end of the day, it all comes down to how much people put it up for. Now, obviously, lower card you can snipe for a few k and keep flipping them, but this one right here, this is gonna be luck right here, waiting for a guy that's like 160. Now, I personally stopped because I used to be able to flip a guy, flip five to 10 guys a day, making like 100K a day back in the older man's. Now, I can go all day, and if I don't get one good, good snipe, I might leave with just 30 to 100K on the... I might, leave on, I might spend 12 hours and only make like 30 to 50K, unless I'm really persistent. But I don't want to make 1K gains anymore. I mean, you know, when you get to a point, you have so much coins, you don't want to make 1K gains. It doesn't help you anymore. So that, that's what kind of killed it for me this year. So a lot of auction gurus really fell off this year as the year went on. Cause it's just not fun. Like it used to be, I used to be excitement to getting a DeAndre Hopkins, a Joey Bosa, and Devin White, and then at night, or the next day when packs dropped, rebuying them, and then selling them for 230, cashing in on 300k, rebuying them. Like how it worked at sometimes in the year. The Christmas promo was a prime example of when it worked. Currencies actually brought that back slightly because currencies, their their value didn't fluctuate based on training. Their value fluctuated on the currency's value, which changed a lot, right? The Christmas promo, they were they were down here. And then they announced the presents, then they were up here. And then the presents went out of packs, and they were down here. So I made a lot of coins because when they were down here, I bought them. Presents came back, I sold them. Presents went back out, I bought them. And then the third time presents came back, I sold all of them. I made millions of coins. Now that's not very likely that's gonna happen every time. And the year can't be based off the Christmas promo, obviously. It is a year long game. It should not be based off one promo as much as I like it. So that's it for the auction. That was a mouthful. I wanna keep getting onto other things in this game. I guess the training needs to be revamped. It was kind of ridiculous if you think about it, how much money you put into a card for a few stat overalls, like if you just think about it. When I bought this Barry Sanders, right? I could have had his full card. I kind of find it ridiculous that I have to use the full card to power it up to its full edition, right? So if I get a Barry, especially early in the year when not everyone has Sprinter and stuff, you get a 99 Barry Sanders, let's say. That card cost me 800K. I have to toss it into a training of five other cards, a bunch of training that ends up being another 300K. So. Actually, typically, a lot of the times, the training route would cost me as much as the card cost. So, I could have a 97 barrier right now with a 95 speed. Or, let me let me power them up. I bought the legendary, the other legendary. I used all the training points. I bought training points. At the end of the day, it's 400k. So, I spent 400k on top of a Barry Sanders that was only worth 400k. So, I get a guy with a plus one everything. It didn't really make sense. I wasn't a fan of it, but I did it just because to compete online, you kind of needed it. You needed the sprinter. You needed the training. You needed the camps. You needed everything. So to compete, I needed to do it. But in reality, it was not the move at all. It really wasn't. They got to revamp it. Maybe like, if you're going to power them all the way, you don't have to use all their cards, maybe. You just only use training on them and you don't have to put their final card in. But it doesn't make sense to buy all their cards. All that for one, like some cards, like Randy Moss, some certain cards literally cost you, like at the end of the day, almost a million coins for the training route. And it really didn't make sense. Now, I guess I'm going to keep this up to ultimate team at this point. For Madden 20 because it's kind of getting long already. Now another issue with this, this per, per se is the chems and the gameplay. Like a lot of the chems just didn't match up with the gameplay. There's a lot of times I just feel like it didn't really work too well. A lot of glitchy things, a lot of glitchy zones. Like the gameplay has to be revamped. I'm not even gonna go into the gameplay because I could spend hours on that. A lot of issues. The gameplay just didn't feel smooth this year. In years past, I enjoyed the run game, the pass game, I enjoyed everything. This year, everything felt so scripted. Like you get into a game, pat sail, crossing route. Oh, you picked me off. I'm running it right back on you. Oh, you can't stop it. I win. Every game didn't... Earlier in the year, before the, everyone gets OP teams, it felt very competitive. It felt like a game, different plays. But once everyone gets 99 speed, 99 zone, that's another issue. Everyone can have 99 speed. But once everyone has 99 speed and 99 zone, it gets very ridiculous to the point where, like, literally, you can only run one thing all game that's going to work against that. That's when the meta start coming out, right? Early in the year, you don't have to run the meta only because a lot of things work. When everyone doesn't have 99 zone and max chems and max everything... You can do a lot. The second you get everything done with 99 speed, 99 zone, maxed out uh, tiers and maxed out, uh, what's it called? Oh, I forgot the word. When you have above 91 zones, you understand what I'm saying? The threshold when you have above everything, cards play differently and it really just throws off the whole smoothness of the game. 
they gotta they gotta they gotta make big changes here guys and just as far, i'm just going far as ultimate team content that's as far as i'm going right now i love the start of every year i'm really looking forward to madden 20 and i hope i really hope that they keep up their pace that they have in last year's where like the begin the first five months are just awesome first four months i should say they're awesome i enjoyed them all. i hope that stays i hope the christmas promo is awesome i hope the halloween the thanksgiving i hope everything's awesome i just hope they revamp the second half because if they can make it a year-long game for their own sake their own pockets their own popularity and their own reputation it will be good for them and for us we'll love it because we won't trash the game as much i don't always trash the game because i personally really like the game but i've gotten to a point where the gameplay is just not fun anymore it's kind of unplayable so they really got to revamp some stuff and they really got to do something big coming after the super bowl to really keep the longevity of this game going i don't know what that answer is i don't if i knew the answer or if they knew the answer i guess i'd hope it'd be done at this point but it's not objectives are cool i like the whole nat i actually like getting nat cards personally what they do got to actually just one last thing before i get out of here they do got to add more packs to solo challenges if you guys remember back in madden 13 in those days you would play four solos and then you get a legend pack a legend pack was worth like 50k to 70k on, on the store you'd get a free legend pack for playing four solos they obviously they were full games but you get a legend pack and it, it was exciting because the packs are chance a nat card 97 mvp it's kind of cool but when your team's really good it's not that cool anymore and it's not that useful but in years past you'd a legend pack that's more fun you can get a new legend a new pull you might not make much but you can make a lot now it's like guaranteed nat nats are cool don't get me wrong but they when we play a 160 game journey i want packs and years past the journeys when they first started had a lot of packs pro packs elite packs elite player packs randomly player a lot of cool stuff this one the first one had some stuff but you're really just working for that nat carson once and that elite player you weren't really there was no packs in years past they were like pro packs game changers they need that kind of stuff back again and when that stuff comes back people will start playing solos more and start grinding more than they did but hopefully you know hopefully they, they hear a lot of feedback from the community and they start making changes guys so thank you so much for watching i don't want to keep this going much longer i've kept it going for quite a while hope you guys have been enjoying the content i know i'm a little slow on madden 19 right now but i'm trying to make the best of it and trying to get some madden 20 content out there as far as news from wish list feedback anything i can do as much as far as madden 20 because i'd imagine that'd be more entertaining than Watch me talk about the market right now in a point where the market's really dead and no one really cares about that as I've seen from the comments. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you've been enjoying, make sure to smack the like button. Comment down below. Just say what's up. Talk to me a little bit. My comments have been dead just because of the aspect of the timing of the game, obviously. And, you know, keep grinding it all the way out to Madden 20. And I'm so excited for Madden 20, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are too. See you guys in the next one.